everybody back with a new episode of babylon 5 last episode left off on a cliffhanger a, another ship was coming in at the same time that ivanova and commander sinclair were coming back from that planet that they had been orbiting that was picking up on a lot of seismic activity they went down there found a guy but also like this really sophisticated machinery um the guy had been like teleporting his consciousness to a bunch of different people and you know saying that we need to help or else our people will die that's pretty ominous and then we've got the whole mars uprising where i think they're really over the earth government being there Garibaldi has someone in particular that he's worried about trying to figure out if she's okay and you know went to Talia who went to Psychor who has like a secret location there but nothing came of looking for her so far so a lot's popping off but I'm excited to get back into it see what this guy that they saved means and uh what this new ship coming in is if garibaldi's gonna find the lady that he's looking for what's going on um specifically on mars if we're gonna learn more there yeah so i'm excited to get back into it a voice in the wilderness part two so let's do it it's an earth alliance heavy cruiser Babylon Control to Earth Cruiser. Why? What's going on? We didn't ask for any help. We are assuming control over the situation. Please stand by, Babylon. No one control. asked for this. We're coming in. They relayed your reports on what you discovered on Epsilon 3. A whole new and potentially revolutionary technology. Yeah, they want it. I don't know if you appreciate how messy the situation can get. I appreciate You're making the it fact worse. that we had this situation under control and quiet until you blew in here with a heavy cruiser. Ask me, the solution's real simple. Pump in morph gas, go in there and break some heads. Every mother loving one of them. <laughs> Teach them who's in charge here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm over you. you know, come till they burn and shoot them in the dark. Earth, Earth. I got a little magic trick for you. As far as I'm concerned, until I'm officially told otherwise, this is still my jurisdiction. I don't want to resign over this, but I will if I have to. All right, Commander. Please don't. I'll do what I can to secure that confirmation. Something's happening down in Epsilon 3, Commander. You better come take a look. On my way. Fire's everywhere. Commander, if that planet goes, it'll take us with it. Oh my god. Hyperion can get out of the way. We can't. We'll be ripped apart. Oh my god. This is so bad. So much is so bad. Now, my guess is that the planet is booby trapped to keep it from falling into the wrong hands. If they go down there again, we may not have 48 hours. So why didn't it start when the two of you went down there? I had a guess, because there was still someone running the show. The guy you brought back. Yeah. Exactly. So if we go down there, it blows. If we don't, it blows anyway, just a little later. It's a good thing I'm Russian. We're used to hopeless situations. <laughs> Do you really want to know what's going on down there right now? Yes, absolutely. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Honestly. You can never get a straight answer from anyone around well, here. That was kind of a straight answer. It's about to go boom, boom, boom. Drunk. <laughs> the Drunk. guy's reaching out to you? Are you all right? Yes. They filed a complaint? No, but they could have. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. It was stupid. They were being hateful. Yeah, didn't hear there's some brass stationed on Mars that owe me a favor or two. I think it's about time they paid up. Oh. One way or another. Thank you. Because you're a clear channel on Mars. That'd be great. I'd appreciate it if you could make sure Ivanova gets on the last ship out. She'll want to stay, but she's got her whole career ahead of her. Understood. It's her choice, but I, I love that you care about her so much, or you both do. But oh my God, please do not come to that. Destroy the, 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 the what? So I don't 
don't want to stay away from it. Is that what Dr. we're saying? Dr. is reporting the patient is awake and confirming our information. If any ships land on the planet, it will self-destruct. Could you tell the Hyperion? Yes, unfortunately, they figured out there's no jamming device. How can you tell? Because they're about to launch an expedition to the planet's surface. What? Uh. Get Pierce on the line. Already done. What are you going to do? Shoot us down? If that's what's required to protect this station, yes. Oh! oh. Excuse me? Lieutenant Commander, put Delta and Zeta flights on alert. Stand by for immediate launch. We can kiss your career goodbye. If you go down there, we're dead anyway. You're bluffing. Lieutenant Commander, open fighter bay doors. Fighter bay doors, I. I don't think he's bluffing. Status. They're canceling the launch. Good. Tell the fighters to stand down, but keep them ready in case we need them after all. We've got our ship coming through the jump gate. Another one? Oh my god, who is this? We've got a signal coming through. This <gasps> is Top Car. That's their planet. We have your language files. This world belongs to us. We are last of our people. Searched. We do not wish to kill. But we will if you will not let us take what is ours open channel to this is the Wait, earth alliance huh? cruiser hyperion to intruder oh my god this sector is under earth jurisdiction any attempt to seize this planet by force or to launch an attack earth you don't get dibs worst case of testosterone poisoning i've ever seen honestly is it true this world chill the fuck out world? everyone signal was not meant for them oh it was put here to hide from them oh Given to me What's your prognosis? He's down. My guess is he's been dying for a while. That would explain the seismic disturbances. The more that he suffered, the more the system began to malfunction. Oh. But without him, the planet is dying. So he knew he was dying. He right so he needed to warn y'all. Oh my god, what do we do? He's probably forbidden to ask directly. But the answer is there. Someone you have ears to hear it. Someone can take his place? I believe we should talk. Yes. I mean, Paul would be the obvious answer for Commander, that. We have a situation here. Where the hell have you been? Try to solve it. Will you commit your forces to the battle? I don't see any other choice. We'll be ready when you are. Yes. You go to this. me as well. One of us will not return. Yes. That much is certain. Joel, weren't you already going to do your, like, end of life thing? As I you would be the one. Garibaldi, the CNC. Somebody just grabbed the patient you brought back from the planet. Looks like they created a diversion in Blue 7. By the time my guards got back, he was gone. Ooh. Stop all outgoing traffic. Signal coming in from the enemy ship. We take what is ours, and we stop your people! He's right, the transport's heading down to the planet. Is it Londo? Whoever's piloting that shuttle's a madman. Is Look, I've got to do something, Jeff. I'm getting to set. I think I can catch them at maximum thrust. See if you can buy me some cover. Tell Delta's two through six to watch Mr. Garibaldi's back. Oh, my goodness. If I were a landing thruster, which one of these would I be? Oh, <laughs> jeez. a pocket of air for you oh thank you so you're going back in is that it no i am oh drill you are i will take his place yeah that makes the most sense in the heart of the machine all my life i've searched for a way to serve others to me there is no higher calling no well, greater destiny than to live for another and if necessary to die for another to somehow make the world a better place oh ah, oh my god Reporting damage to Cobra Base. Hold blue A3C buckling. 20% power loss. Oh. oh. I am sending this message to all three parties involved in the struggle for control of this planet. It belongs to none of you. The defensive systems on this world are now fully operational. Do not attempt to come here again. Yeah. Any approach won't. will be met with resistance. Any ship attempting to land will be destroyed. 
confirms that you have primary jurisdiction over the Babylon station in this sector of space. Yes. My um, regrets if I exceeded my authority. Apology accepted. Apology accepted. Friend. Will do. We've got the Mars Colony relay. We've located your friend. <gasps> Yay. She, she's alive, yes. Wounded, but okay. The doctors say she'll be fine. Oh, that's great. I've got a couple of weeks leave coming soon, and I'm going to take it on Mars. I thought maybe we could work things out if... Michael. She's moved on. I can't. Off, oh, it's the job. I'm married. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Wait, it's a long man. His name is Franz. Why didn't you come to us and let us handle it? Because if I had, I know in my heart that Commander Sinclair would be the one down there right now. He's looking for a purpose. But his destiny lies elsewhere. And Lana, Tell us more. How'd you get him to go along with this? An exchange of promises. Franz. <laughs> it's better that you know. Sleep well. Who is she talking to? Droll? Oh, Delenn. I just do not know what to make of Delenn and what's happening. I recently edited and a scott and the sky full of stars. Like the Minbari put something, put someone in the commander. I don't know if that's who he is now or if there's also someone else in him, but something happened there. Like, I'm almost certain that's what it is, the way they talked in that episode and what we have known so far and Chrysalis being a like a cocoon type situation. There's so much more to know. I, and I don't think it's just the commander. So I can't wait for that to come out it, to know exactly what's happening. Um, but it's interesting to know that, that the commander was one of the potential people that he went to, to potentially take his place. And uh, the commander would have absolutely done it for sure. And I was so surprised that Londo was one of them too. But And he would have been game for it too, I think. But I'm glad he did it. Droll is kind of the perfect person to do so. He, I didn't think that what happened, the, the conversation that he had with Dylan last episode was going to be so meaningful for where this episode went. And this was exactly what he wanted. He was wanting to do something for the greater good, not selfish. And he completely did a self-sacrifice here. And it's not without merit. He's gonna learn a lot, he's gonna live longer, and he's gonna protect a lot of people. So I love that for him. And I know Dylan will miss him, but he was already, you know, making his rounds. So this really just worked out perfectly. It's so cool that this is what he meant when he needed help. He was dying and someone has to be there to protect this planet because the technology is too far advanced and no one deserves it. I love that that community understood that and, and had that kind of fail safe in place. And even the same uh, species who came for it like that they didn't even want them to have it just because uh, your people were the original people on that planet doesn't mean that anybody should get this kind of responsibility because they knew what they their intent was and it wasn't good they were aggressors and of course earth would just come barging in trying to be the first ones to get it 
to keep it from, uh, it has a lot of like a nuclear power type implication. And uh, I, I love that that was the outcome. It was that you're not ready for it. And it, maybe you will be at some point, but until it's more of a level playing ground, no one gets it. I really love that. Um, I'm glad your Baldy got closure. She was okay, but also they're not going to get back together. It's been far too long. She's moved on to France, Franz. So that was a, a good outcome too. She, she didn't die. And uh, yeah, it has a lot of uh, importance with what's happening on Mars right now for Earth to try to come in and take that. You know, that's something they probably use against Mars when it seems like this is a, a righteous thing that these Martians are uprising against. So I'm glad that they didn't get it. Uh, and I'm glad that they also, that that uh, the guy that was the ship commander, he backed away and like apologized for their aggression and that kept them from being killed because if they had gone down there, that defense would have disintegrated them in the same way it did that other group. So yeah, this was really well done. I thought it completed the last episode so well. It was such a, a really good two-parter and I, I love the message and I love how Commander Sinclair handled it. Ivanova is such a good second in command. And I know he wanted to protect her, make sure she got off of the station if things went badly, but she would go kicking and screaming, you know it. Uh, I just I just really love this episode. I, I thought the Lynn and Droll's relationship was very sweet and her goodbye to him was very nice. And I, I love how Londo jumped in. <laughs> when they were like <laughs> who's ever driving that spaceship it was uh, a loose cannon or whatever they said <laughs> it's just Londo <laughs> I love that that was so good so yeah I really really love this two-parter this it, this escalated so much things were potentially gonna go so badly here and but everything really worked out and I like the message behind it I, I just love what everyone did and how it worked out. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. So excellent episode, excellent two-parter. And we are very close to the end of this season and I can't wait to see what we learn. I hope there are a lot of answers ahead. But yeah, I just really, really love this. So thanks for watching guys, I'll be back soon.